The Bundaberg Railway Picnic, a piece of Bundaberg history and an annual event for 50 years. It was a day at Nielsen Park Beach Bagara, about 14 kilometres from the city for thousands of Bundaberg areas. Why the Railway Picnic? The Railway Picnic was an annual outing organised by the Railway Men of Bundaberg as a picnic for themselves and their families, which started in 1892 and continued for the next half a century without a break. While recognised as the Railway Man's Day, it wasn't long before the whole of Bundaberg got into the act and made it their day at the beach as well, and the Railway Picnic became the big event of the year. Today's perspective would suggest that as there is no railway line to Bagara, it was something of a Clayton's Railway Picnic. That is, a railway picnic without a railway. Up until 1948, the railway line ran through East Bundaberg to Bagara, and indeed, in the era from 1870 to 1880s, continued on into the Wingara to service the sugar industry juice mills, which existed in the days before all sugar cane was directed to the Milliken Sugar Mill. The railway picnic was the day when all the girls paraded their new swimsuits for the surfing season. Kids filled their tummies with free ginger beer, lollies and ice cream, got horribly sunburnt and tested mum's patience. The dads, after a swim, found the half-kilometre walk to the Bagara pub no impediment to the need to quench their thirst. In 1946, the Railway Picnic Committee decided to make the day even more spectacular by the introduction of a siren of the surf, a competition which in fact can be regarded as the genesis of today's Bundaberg Surf Life Saving Club's Beach Spectacular. Bundaberg is famous for its beautiful girls producing a Miss Australia and Miss Queensland. The Queensland Surf Life Saving Club's Surf Girl Quests by local girls will testify too and the girls of the 1946-1972 era were no exception. Girls were formed into teams of seven sponsored by local business houses and organisations and were trained by willing members of the Bundaberg Surf Life Saving Club in the March style so unique to the Surf Life Saving Association of Australia. Judges selected the best team of a siren of the surf, a young lady who became the toast of Bundaberg for the next 12 months. Special excursion trains ran from Gladstone and Merribra, as well as Bundaberg, with buses running on an hourly timetable to the city. Plus, those with motor cars brought an estimated 10,000 people to the beach for the railway picnic. The railway picnic ceased to exist in 1972, but was brought to life again in 1988, when its recreation became a project of the Bundaberg Surf Life Saving Club to celebrate Australia's bicentenary year. Highlights of the 1988 bicentennial recreated railway picnic are included in this video. And we think these scenes provide a nice climax to the historic railway picnic. The following poem by Ted Smith, The Railway Picnic, tells the story of the event so eluquently. Through some 60 years of living, some hard and unforgiving have passed along the lifeline of my journey through this world. I cannot forget the pleasure of my childhood and I treasure all the memories of the good times when life's flag is first unfurled. I remember best the waiting and the joy anticipating. Would the yearly railway picnic just hurry up and come? Every day and night preparing and my eager dreams comparing as I passed my thoughts demanding to my father and my mum. How my heart would beat all hurried and my thoughts become all flurried, as I wondered what would happen at the great event this year. Would I win the picnic races? Would I see the smiling faces? Would there be the watermelons and the mugs of ginger beer? I can see the train all steaming and the driver's face a-beaming as the station reading Bundaberg so clear. On the morning of this train ride to Bagara by the seaside, on the railway workers picnic and the whistle still I hear. All aboard is echoed loudly by the guard just standing proudly, with his flag held good and ready for the signal to depart. All the fathers and the mothers and the sisters and the brothers settle down in seats adjoining, waiting for the jerk to start. The cheering and the calling with the guard's flag raised, then falling, starts our journey to Bagara on this wondrous day of fun. Oh, the joy in my heart beating and my mother's words repeating. Watch your eyes for that coal dust. Put the shade up for that sun. 
From the windows, bodies hanging, and the wheels on lines are clanging, and the hissing, then the whistle still rings in my old ears. Oh, the smell of sweet molasses from Milliquin that passes brings back the happy memories of the good old yesteryears. As we pass the mills still crushing, all the East Enders are rushing, just to wave to friends and fathers and brothers working still. All the Tootles and the Finches and the Redshaws and the Lynches wave to eight to fours still standing upon old Misery Hill. We speed with seats a swaying to the music loudly playing from the bagpipes of the Scotties in Tartan Kilt so bright. Through the cane fields and the clover, some new plant and stand over, and the driver sounds the whistle to the cheering crowd's delight. As we near our destination, all filled with expectation, the whistle of the engine and the hissing of the brakes announce that we are nearing the palm trees and the clearing, where all the railway fathers had erected tents on stakes. With the puff puffs growing lower, and the wheels are turning slower, the driver pulls the brake on and we shudder to a halt. Oh, the screams of joy and rapture I dare not try to capture as all view the blue Pacific and smell the ocean salt. Next, the welcome to our shade spots by men with steaming teapots and the tickets for our melon and the mugs of ginger beer. Then spoiled with cones of ice cream which were endless and it did seem that these kind and loving workers grew kinder every year. With ice cream stained red faces we ran three-legged races. We chased the greasy pig and we raced with egg and spoon. Swam in foaming seas of briny with noses burnt and shiny till the time for our departure just came along too soon. The bell now ringing loudly by the guard still standing proudly as he shouted hurry on there with his flag held in his hand. All the fathers and the mothers and the sisters and the brothers hurried through the carriage doorways without music from the band. Now the journey back to Bundy and the thought of school on Monday and pain of sunburned shoulders with next year so far away turned the atmosphere of gladness to one of pensive sadness with the early cane fires heralding the closing of the day. Scenes of the early railway picnics came from the movie camera of the late Douglas Rattray, who many will remember as the proprietor of the Paramount Theatre and a filmmaker who captured many of the major events in Bundaberg with his camera. Doug's films, and there were many cans of them, were tracked to a niece in Yandina near Nambour, who kindly allowed them to be used by Channel 8 TV, now Sunshine Television, to transfer highlights of the railway picnic and other special events to video. This video was used as a promotional medium for the 1988 Bicentennial Railway Picnic.
Bundaberg March Pass team and the Bundaberg Pipe Band. Thank you. 